Okay, so we're gonna check out the long range capabilities of this AK. Matt, can can we? Um, it's really hot, man. Can can we take a break real quick? Yeah, we'll take a break in a minute. Let me, let me just get this shot first. All right, so I'm gonna pop this. Can can we get some water or something, man? I'm really like. We can get water. We just need to get the shot first. Just chill out. I'm really not feeling good, man. Hey, zip it and just finish the shot. We're almost done. Yes, sir. All right, are you you good? Ah, uh, not again. Are you good to go? Okay, you can have his rations for the day. Let's do this. Hey, Mo. Hey, boy. Hmm. Uh, hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. Maybe he went to the range. There he is. I knew it. This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is a security system that experts trust. They offer a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, including the all new wireless outdoor security camera, so I can keep an eye on all my kids and this dang dog from my phone whenever I want. It's less than $1 per day and it protects over a million homes in the US alone. Simply Safe is backed by the best 24 7 professional monitoring in the business that are ready to dispatch police, firefighters, or EMTs to your home. There's never a long term contract. You can even try it for 60 days risk free to see if you like it. If you don't, send it back free of charge. Thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Right now you can get 20% off your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for the interactive monitoring plan and you get your first month's free. Visit simplysafe.com slash demo ranch to learn more. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. You've seen on here we've had some air guns in the past. We have something new and possibly even cooler than the ones we've done in the past. This is put together by the Pellet Shop and Utah Air Guns. They reached out and asked us if they could send us some air guns. They are big into air guns. They wanted to see what we could do with these. These are big bore air guns, which we have shot before. Uh, we have shot the uh, Air Force Texan, and I have two of those. And we also have shot uh, the, I think it's called Sam Yang Dragon Claw. Uh, that one was a 50. The Air Force Texans, I think, were 45 calibers. This one is a 72 caliber. It's huge. It's about the size of a shotgun slug, a 12 gauge shotgun slug. And you can see that's got a big old hollow point in it. These guns that they have sent us, which we appreciate, are called the AEA Zeus 72 caliber big bore air guns. So just like the other ones, they have to have a tank somewhere. So these have their air tank right here. This is their long version. The Sniper it has a 32 inch barrel. We also have a 24 inch barreled version as well as a CQB 16 inch barreled version. Each one has a smaller tube as you can see as well for the air chamber there. Not air chamber, but air tank there. So they get progressively smaller barrels and air tanks. And we got from Donnie FL, a suppressor. This suppressor will go on any of these things. They call it a moderator. You put on the CQB and you get a about as long as your sniper version or you can put on the sniper version and get a really long knot gun because air guns if you don't know are technically not firearms. So the rules for firearms do not apply to air guns. So this silencer suppressor is not a real silencer suppressor. It is not an NFA item at all and it ships right to your door and you can put it on your air gun and go to town. These things are made to have fun with, which is what we're gonna do here on the range. We're gonna plink some targets and that kind of stuff, but they also technically can be used in hunting. You can take them hunting, you can take down bigger animals with an air gun. So we're gonna test that as well today. We have an elk that I just bought. Um, we're gonna bring him out here and see if we can kill him with one of these air guns. Stay tuned. We're gonna shoot the middle barrel length one first. You see we have a gauge here telling us how much air we are in the green. And so the way you uh, do this is when you're running low, you just hook it up to a big air tank, fill it back up again. Um, these things usually you get, I don't know, three to five shots before the air starts dropping enough that the bullet actually will change. You can still shoot, they're still fast, they're just not as fast. So we're gonna open her up like that. We're gonna throw our 
big bullet in here. This is a 630 grain, 72 caliber projectile out of an air gun. So throw it right there, and then we drop this thing down, and I believe we're ready to fire. Let's figure it out. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm gonna put my ears on. That was very loud. <laughs> and uh, kick just like a shotgun. My ears are ringing right now. I knew it was gonna be loud. I wanted to hear the first shot without ears, uh, because even though there's no gunpowder blowing up, there's still a very big explosion. You can see, we still have, you know, in the green, so should be good. That is a solid hit though, holy cow. All right, I'm gonna get my ears on. We're gonna hit the same target again uh, with a camera focused on it so you can see how hard that thing hits because it, it freaking, I mean, this is an air gun and it splats that giant target hard. Next up, I'm gonna do three shot burst. And by burst, I mean I'm going to fire and then try to do three consecutive shots really fast. I'm gonna try to hit a target every time, but we'll see what happens. See how fast I can reload this thing. Here we go. I need to get speed reloader in here. It still trips me out that there's not a shell that pops out like it just it's just gone not wasteful that's what i like about air guns <laughs> Woo! so we have shot five shots you can see we're down into the light green right now we can just keep shooting to see how long until it gets down to like real low and see if the noise changes but you can see got you know three shots off pretty quick so if you were hunting with this and you you know needed a follow-up shot it is possible a little bit slower than a bolt action Still ringing very loud. Right, let's see if I can hit a little small target over here. I'm gonna go for this black ring. <laughs> Woo! We'll go for green next to it. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, that hit so hard. Ah! Hurry, hurry. We're under fire here, gotta hurry. I gotta hit the right button, there we go. Little blue one, it's tiny. Wrapped it over. <laughs> uh, no gun I've ever shot at that has wrapped one of those over that bar like that. That is crazy. So we've shot, I don't know, how many was that? Like eight or nine shots. Still got power. I'm sure at 100 yards it would be dropping now, but still has enough energy to hit that metal plate harder than any AR I've ever hit it with. So these are 630 grains. These are 440 grains. You can see they're way different. We're going to switch and shoot the 440s out of this one. The big long barrel, so it should pick up lots of speed because it has a longer barrel and it has a lighter shot. But still a big fat boy. We're gonna send him down range. It's the big boy time, 32 inches of fury. And we have a new long range setup. We got a bunch of railroad ties and put a big berm behind them. So it's looking all clean down there. We actually smoothed this all out with the Bobcat too so that we can drive down there and check out our targets. We're getting all set up out here. We are shooting the small bullets at a long barrel, so they should go very fast. And we're at 10,000 yards here. Let's see what we can do with it. Boink! All right, that was a hit on green. Let's do another shot, and maybe we'll take out the smaller yellow guy down there. <laughs> Woo, that ding is so good. So that actually did drop a little bit. I'm gonna keep holding in the same spot and see if these keep dropping like that. That first shot hit a little left, so I did pull it over. I'm gonna stay on the same right side, but same spot otherwise. Yeah, they're working their way down. So I think this next shot will probably hit at the very bottom or right under, but they are walking down. So you would have to know that if you're gonna hunt with this, you have to know when you're on a certain level how much drop you're gonna have at 100 yards. 
All right, yeah, that one's actually still about the same spot. Let's try one more. I want to see if they really start walking off the target. I mean, they're still hitting hard. You can hear them dinging that steel down there. That one actually went way low and left. If my calculations are correct, this one's gonna go off the target. What are we at here? We are in the light green now. Shooting at like 25 yards, this probably wouldn't matter at all, but shooting this distance. <laughs> I saw a splatter, but I couldn't tell where it came from. What is that hitting? Is that hitting the stand? I think both those last ones just fell out, like went, dropped down and hit the stand. Uh, let's go look, actually. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I was hitting this, so it was dropping down, and then I hit here, and then I hit here. So those with lower power, oh shoot, this is them. Dude, flatten them out big time. So even with lower power, it was still bending this steel that much. That big old round. I was kind of wondering how deformed these things would get. At 100 yards, they are that smashed up, just totally flat pieces of lead. There's some more. There's our bullets right there. So I'll just melt them down. Crunch them back in the right spot. I'll shoot them again. Let's see if we can take out the little yellow guy now. I heard a hit. I think it must have hit super low. I think I hit the base of him. That's a knockdown target, so if you hit it anywhere, it should knock it right over. So let me try aiming higher. We're mid-range, light green right now, so we're getting low on air for a shot like this. I'm gonna aim real high. Oh, it hit, but didn't fall over. Let me aim even higher, see if we can hit him on the head and knock him over. We are shooting our light rounds too, and we might not have that knockdown target adjusted properly, but it's still 440 grains, so they're not technically that light. Dang it! <laughs> I saw it wiggle. Time has come for the CQB model. A little shorty. We're shooting our small rounds out of it. We're gonna go on the short range over here. Let's see what she can do. See if she sided in. Oh, nope. That was me, I think. Went a little high. God, this thing is loud and kicks a lot. Two for one special. I'm holding too high. I need to aim lower. This thing is crazy. It does just feel like I'm shooting a shotgun. Yep, I got the hold now. One more shot in my pocket. One more slug. Can I hit that moving thing? We are going to fill it up so we're maxed out on our air pressure and we're going to put a suppressor on it and see how it works. Gosh, look at that beauty. We got our 630s, big boys. I don't actually know if even the small ones are supersonic. I'm sure they're subsonic, but I'm not sure. Let's shoot into the dirt, see what it sounds like. Still loud, but definitely not hurting my ears like before. Let's see how loud it can ring some steel. I tried to be really cool and do it fast, and instead I just pulled it off target because I'm a wimp and flinched. All right, this one though, that's pretty loud. What's crazy is when you don't have ears on and you have a suppressor, you can hear a lot more stuff going on in the gun. So after I fire, I can hear like a, like some of the metal is vibrating. Let's shoot this big guy over here. Woo! One more shot. Let's do a little plate up there because I think it rings pretty good. Jeez. Now, we have determined these things are fun, um, pretty reliable. We've had no issues with them. 
you can hit long range with them, but what would they do if they actually hit a live target? Hey, yeah, bring out the elk. It's the first time we've ever done this, so it's a big deal. This is this is Elton the elk. Uh, just kidding. Uh, this is from Ballistic Dummy Labs. We have a torso. It's made to simulate a real human torso and blue blood in this one is what I've been told. So we'll see. We are going to, yeah, we're gonna slap it real good with one of those rounds. Like, like. We're shooting a big bullet out of the big gun with a big suppressor. Um, I'm gonna aim just center mass chest. This is going to be freaking messy. Ooh. Dude, we got an exit wound right there. Broke his spine. That probably would have been a paralyzing shot right there. Ugh. Probably also hit his heart. That is a direct center of chest hit. Uh, we don't have any blood actually though, so we did not hit the blood pouches in here. Let's go ahead and give it another shot. Maybe we'll go for a little lower, maybe in the liver. See what that does. But that went through front of the sternum, busted through a rib and a vertebrae right there, and came out the back. He did. We're gut shotting him with a fast little baby one. Let's see what happens. You ready? It's coming in hot. I see blue blood. Right in there. I think we nicked the bottom of the liver and got the guts. Dude, that's the bullet, holy cow. So, <laughs> it did not come out, but it is in a very bad place. Also got his spine, uh, so he's also paralyzed again. Um, plus he has a bullet stuck in his spine right there. Uh, cracked that vertebrae, oh yeah, I can feel it. But yeah, that's also gonna be a fatal shot. That's a knockdown, went through his liver. Definitely busted some big vessels in there. You, you don't want to get hit in your liver. There's a lot of big arteries in there. And then stuck in his spine, so he is, he's instantly down. Um, let's just shoot like three more shots in a row and see what happens. We're doing CQB, we suppressed it. And we're gonna fire three shots into him in rapid succession. Why do I have, why do I have those on? Did y'all hear that? Sorry, I just got confused because I heard something in my ears. Oh yeah, it's this, I can just hear this ringing. It was just amplifying it in my electronic earmuffs and I thought it was a ricochet. Okay, let's see if he survived. We had another one go in here, we had one go in here and then I shot one down low, ew. That is blue blood on there. I don't think one went in there. I think that just hit there and flapped that open. I am good at getting him stuck in his spine. There's one that went through his spine there. I think another one came through the same hole there. Nah, there's no way that came through the same hole. So that one's probably still in him. So shorter barrel in a normal firearm means less. Oh wait, this is something else because that, or did y'all cut that? How is this one coming through now? That's two bullets stuck on each other, no? I don't really know what's happening, but geez, that's a big old bullet. Safe to say we've paralyzed him and murdered him multiple times. Not good for him. Um, so we have deduced that the air guns are fun, um, are accurate, and can definitely kill an elk. YouTube. Next up, dual wielding. I'm gonna fire as fast as I can, and we are going to rip that torso up. Oh, man, I shot so fast and reloaded so fast, it's really a workout, but took care of that guy. We have a head from Ballistic Dummy Lab now, a skull analog, and I'm gonna be shooting big rifle, big slug, big man. Let's see what happens. 
to a big skull. I'm gonna aim, yeah, right about here. I think I saw chunks of skull flying. Oh man, <laughs> it went straight through. Uh, that's the back of his head. Holy cow. Went in through the eyeball, which is always where I aim on the zombies. Oh, yep. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call getting domed. Thanks again to Pellet Shop, Utah Air Guns, and Donnie FL. Appreciate you guys hooking us up with this. This is pretty sweet. And we're gonna do a giveaway to you guys. Um, out of all the shirts that are sold today, linked in the description below, we're gonna pick two of you guys. We're gonna send the mid-range and the long-range guns to a random two of you guys. So they're pretty sweet, uh, very fun. We'll send you some ammo as well, but we're gonna keep the shorty with the suppressor because I think that's the best one. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolish Ranch. I love you, and I will, um, y'all possibly see you next time. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. <laughs>